previous video we have completed about uh, arithmetic operators so what are these operators and with example and uh, we executed the program right so now we'll see the logical operators so what are these three and we'll see with the program and execution yeah myself Shravan Kumar Mantri technical trainer you want more interesting stuff so please subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button below of course there are three logical operators this is we call it as a logical and and this is logical or this is logical not right so double and two ampersand symbols has to be given uh, uh, two and symbols two or symbols and one not symbol so we'll see what are these symbols how this can be worked anyway it's also a binary operators all these I mean these two are binary operators and of course it's a unary so I'll let you know what is this okay. First, it operates on the values which are either true or false. Okay, it operates on either true or false based on this. So we'll get four possibilities, right? So like uh, both are true, one is true, one is false, one is false, one is true, and both are false. So now, if I say logical and means if both the values are true, then only true. Otherwise, it is false. If any one is false. So the resultant will be false. So what about logical or if both are false, then only false, right? If any one is true, I can write it as true. What about not if there is true, it will become false. If there is a false, it will become true. Let us suppose this is something like A, this is something like B. So not of A if I write. So here true, it only operates on one operand, right? So it will become false, true means false, false means true, false means true. So if I operate on B, not on B, it is true, then it is will be false. Here it is false means true. So this one, so true means false, false means true. So like this we'll get. So I think this basic we need to have before going to this and logical and operators. So how this can be done like in our C programming in compilation. So we'll write some statement where both the values are true means both the values are non-zero. Okay. True in the sense if you give both the values are non-zero any value uh, which is non-zero will be taken as true. So any value which is zero will be taken as false. Right. So like this if I take two non-zero values then it will be true. Okay, like this we'll get okay but see if if we give the values all non-zero can be taken as true and zero is a false but when a computer wants to return the output okay when it wants to return the output as zero it I mean when it wants to return false it will provide zero when it wants to return true it gives one okay remember this point so when we give non-zero it is true when comp compiler wants to return true it returns one okay yeah we'll see with examples i've taken a simple program where it can find the largest of three number i have given three numbers of course assume that three three numbers are different okay something that those where there is no common value for these three okay i'll take a equals 10 something like this b equals 10. Uh, 8 C equals something like uh, I'll take 7 okay yeah if I give like this I think we know that 10 is the largest one how it can be get so if a is greater than B it is checking anyway greater than it is checking what is this value 10 is greater than 8 it is true right so B is greater A is greater than C 10 is greater than 7 is true of course remember one more point we are assuming it has true but the compiler takes true means it's something non-zero value here it is one and here also one so one and one or true and true of course true means one right or non-zero any value so one right so this if condition value is one so this is what if one means true right if any non-zero also true right if any non-zero including one right so if will be executed if you get zero here else will be executed right so like this it will happen here you can see 10 is greater than 8 10 is greater than 7 so so percentile d is greater which is your 10 is greater it will print directly okay that's it 
so anyway let us take another value here here i'll take 5 let us suppose so 5 is greater than 8 is it true false right so it is false false and uh, 5 is greater than 7 again false right false and false the resultant will be false right which is 0 and 0 which is 0 so if of 0 is false so it will come here else part now 8 is greater than 7 yes true true means 1 so 1 means so b is greater 8 is greater right so 5 8 7 which is the highest 8 okay take another constraint here i'll take 15 so 5 8 15 you have to get 15 you can see 5 is greater than 8 false 5 is greater than 15 of course false here it comes 8 is greater than 15 false so here else part which is 15 is your answer one more interesting part okay that is we need to learn actually so let us suppose let us suppose here i have taken something value let me take here uh, again i'll take a equals to 10 10 is greater than 8 yes true okay yeah remember this point if this is true then only this can be taken there's a very interesting point here 10 is greater than 8 then it is true then it will check this one otherwise directly goes out of if condition okay let me take here something like 5 see 5 is greater than 8 5 is greater than 8 false so if it is false means 0 right then it won't take this one remember this point clearly anyway i explained to get the basic knowledge in the previous but actual happens is this one so if if this value is false directly comes out it won't take this one it won't be executed you can see 5 is greater than 8 directly comes to the else part okay so why like this happens this is a very interesting logic if you take in the truth table once again i'll go to the truth table this one if first one is true then you can see there is a chance of getting true okay if first one is true might be if it is false you will get but if first one is false directly the answer is false you can see so that means if the first value is false so definitely you will get the answer as zero right if it is false so that's why so this is we call it as lazy execution actually so so that's why if it is false where is the need to execute this one why because even if it is whatever it may be if it is true or false the result will be false so that's why it won't be executed so then it comes here so when you write two operations in logical and this is a very most interesting thing anyway i'll explain clearly this one with another example okay so for this one you can see it will check and like this it will happen okay we'll see some interesting program let me consider this example this program so a x equals 1 y equals 0 uh, z equals to 5 what is a equals to y double and z plus plus what is y 0 0 double and i told you 0 means false right 0 means false false double and something so it's always false that's why this is the part will not be executed okay this part will not be executed so z value will be as it is it won't be changed to 5 okay even if you take plus plus z also okay i'll take anyway plus plus z let me see so z value is 5 only you can see you observe what is z value if i ask you yeah you can see the output that is 5 right so now now what i'll do is i'll change y value as 1 so i'll change y value as 1 now the thing you can see one in the sense true true means true and something we cannot say whether it is entire thing is true or false true and true is true true and false is false so now there is a need of plus plus z that's why it will take z value so z value will become six non-zero so non-zero and non-zero which is true a value is true and it is asking z what is z will be now it is six you can see so this is a very interesting point that you can observe especially in logical and as well as logical or also okay same thing like let me take logical or anyone anyone right either of this condition or that condition right now if i take this one in logical or so there is a constraint that if first one is true if first one is true irrespective of the second one it always will become true right so it is reverse 
if y equals to 1 means 1 or something is always 1 so that's why z value will never change so that's why this value will become 5 you can see it is 5 only right but but whenever I keep it as 0 whenever I keep it as 0 now you can see 0 or something we cannot say 0 or 1 is 1 0 or 0 is 0 so that's why now this will be executed now the answer of z will be 6 so this is 6 okay so like this it will be this is a very interesting point and now one more thing okay what I'll write here is x double and y r plus plus z okay so like this I'll consider okay x double and what is x value 1 right x value 1 then okay anyway I'll ask like what is a value okay the resultant I want actual so now x equals 1 1 and something I cannot say so that's why 1 and this has to be executed right y what is y 0 so 1 and 0 is 0 so x and y is 0 0 or something we cannot say exactly right so we cannot say exactly Z plus plus z which is 6 so that's why okay I'll write here what are the values you'll have 1 double n 0 okay slash then z value anyway will be 6 right so anyway that afterwards we have to check it out 1 double and 0 which will become 0 right now the 0 or something we cannot say exactly 0 or 1 is 1 0 or 0 is 0 so that's why now this will be executed 0 or 6 right which is non zero means which is equals to again 1 right so false or true is true so a value will be now executed a value will be 1 and anyway for your clarity I'll print z also okay we'll see a value is 1 z value is 6 you can see the output now yeah 1 comma 6 right so this is what the, an interesting point we can observe in logical and and logical or operator and one more thing one more thing we can check it out I'll keep here or and here I'll keep and now in this case remember this point if you give or and and okay you thought of first I have to do x or y but remember if I have logical or and logical and the first priority will be given to and only so that means first you have to complete this one first you have to complete this one then only you have to go for or condition remember this point carefully so because uh, as per the priority as per the priority I'll show you here uh, what is the priority rules okay operator precedence rules we call them as logical and is higher prior compared to the logical or so like this we need to execute and still you want it clearly I have one more program you can see here so i equals 0 j equals 0 i double and j equals to i plus 10 see when this j equals to i plus 10 will be executed whenever i value is 1 why because 1 and something is we we have to have but 0 and something is always 0 that's why it won't be executed for this case i equals 0 so 0 and something means j value will not be changed right so j has to be printed as 0 you can check it out of course you can write int main there when you write int main you have to write here as return 0 I have written void main then nothing is required at the end to return so if I execute you can see 0 is our answer so why because so why because here this part is not executing so let us suppose if I give other than 0 I'll give something like 1 or whatever it may be non 0 I can keep something like 15 or whatever or 158 something non 0 so that means non zero and this has to be executed so what is i value 158 plus 10 which is 168 j value should be 168 you can see yeah 168 so like this it will execute these are some interesting and hidden things which we have in logical and and logical or operator i think you can guess the output of this one so this is one 
this is and 0 anyway and is a first priority 1 and 0 is 0 0 or 0 or something which is required so z value will be definitely incremented so z is 6 option a is the correct answer so this is the operator precedence table where the priority if you take two operators which is on the top will be the first priority if i take multiplication and plus multiplication is on top that's why this is higher priority compared to plus if both are in same let us suppose multiplication and division if both are in same line means you have to take this associativity left to right which comes in the left multiplication in your question with this operator which comes first that will be the highest priority so anyway i'll make one more vi one video regarding this about this operator precedence and in our question and and or you can see which is on the top and compared with all so always you have to do and operator first okay so like this we have of course this is a one more question try to get the answer if you are able to anyway i'll explain this one in afterwards in the next video so logical operators are completed we'll see relational operators in the next video lecture thank you